Doctors call it a historic moment for dementia treatment, an experimental drug shown to slow the rate of decline in memory and thinking. It's part of a new era of research and intervention that's giving families hope as they face diseases with bleak outcomes. Yeah, from a day center for adults in Sandy Springs to organize efforts to support families all across Georgia. Experts think positive change is coming. Atlanta News First reporter Sawyer Bussey shares this story of hope. Welcome to Town Square. Sometimes it takes a new world. We have a health center and a library, just like your hometown. To keep your mind in your current world for as long as possible. And what we are doing is creating a community. Um, it's very isolating. Any chronic disease and aging is isolating. Cognitive impairment, Alzheimer's um, particularly so. This is a little city set in another time. I think Rosie Steiner is a quintessential 50s, maybe early 60s diner. It's also an adult day center for people with Alzheimer's or dementia. Employees here tell me the inspiration behind this space is less about the era and more about their members seeing something they recognize, seeing something familiar, like a 1964 Thunderbird. The library, the gym, even the theater is created to help a person whose cognitive abilities are declining stay present for as long as possible. There's a new drug that could help extend that time even further. From those clinical trials, they noticeably saw the removal of amyloid and a significant change in disease progression. Diseases like Alzheimer's or dementia can feel like a death sentence to those diagnosed and to those who become caretakers. One person does not get a diagnosis for dementia. People working in this space believe research shows there is hope, that there is time that can be saved in one way. What it means for families potentially is that they may have more time. Or another. Living the best quality of life they can with dementia. And, you know, there's joy, there's love, there's quality of life. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.